Alright guys, it's time for a video game monthly again. Here with Retro Mikey. And I've got two boxes this month. And most of you know what that means. That means one of these is the joke box. The one here is heavy. This one is not. So, I get a 10, 10 game subscription. So I'm betting that this is my regular box. Alright. Let's open these bad boys up and see what we got. For those of you that don't know what Video Game Monthly is, Video Game Monthly is a subscription service where you pay a monthly fee and you get, they send you um, video games that you get to keep. And what you do is they have multiple choices. You get either three four, five, or a 10 game power pack. I do the 10 game power pack. And what you, you also, you um, put in what, uh, you put in what um, consoles you have and what you want. And then you um, put in what consoles you have, what you want. Put in your games, and then they try to send you ugh, games out of your, um, that you need. What I do is I have NES, SNES, GameCube, uh, Sega Genesis, uh, Wii U, Xbox, Dreamcast and just recently bought a Sega Master System, so that is new to this month. But I've had other people. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I also do the N64 J Japanese import. But also this month, I also added the Sega Master System, which I ha um, have been told by other people they've not ever received any. So we'll see if that's in here too. But like I said. I could pretty much tell the differences. This box is 10 times heavier than this one. So I'm betting this is the joke box. I'm going to open it first. And right on top. First you get the magnet. The joke's on you. Proud to be the owner of this month's joke, joke box. These are terrible games for free. Thanks for being a VGM member. And oh. Don't forget, they do this in every box. Um, post your picture on their Facebook page. Hope to win three free games. So let's see what terrible games we got this time. All right, parties hide and seek. And next up, Shaq Fu. And another Barney's hide and seek. Super Nintendo copy of Shaq Fu. Oh man, it's not even complete. A disc only Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen Sweet 16. And, alright, a Connect Adventures. I think I got four of these already. Hey, it's got all the paperwork in it. What else we got in here? One more. Another Connect Adventures. And hey, another empty box. But yeah, they do this once a month. Somebody gets a joke box. You get terrible games to keep. Hey, I'm not upset. Um, instead of buying the JFJ um, GameCube pad, what I've figured out is I take these old discs that nobody wants. I got a bunch of sports titles or a couple, bunch of these I get at yard sales so real, real cheap. I put the GameCube disc on here and buff it so it doesn't tear up my pad. Tears up the disc, but hey. Yep, just extra stuff. I know how to get rid of those. I know what to do for these. I got a buddy that'll probably actually take that, so. Uh. They'll all be used in my, in my book. Now, let's get to the 10-game power pack. Our 
not power pack, but just ten game. I don't know why I said power. Pack. Oh, cause it's called a power pack. Just woke up from from everybody. So, uh, Facebook post try to win three free games this month's um, trinket, the magnet, and. Reminder to update your library so you don't get duplicates. Alright, like I said, folks, I get 10 games, so let's see what 10 games I got this month. Grand Theft Auto 3, the Xbox collection. I've never seen this case. Oh, wait, yeah, I have. This is the case that would go in the 3-pack. Um, yeah, it's loose. I mean, not loose, but it's not got a manual, but hey, that's still good. I have to see if that's marked off. I thought I already owned that. Star Wars Episode One Racer, the Japanese one. It's interesting that it says the exact English, and then it has, has Japanese writing on the bottom. And Frogger. That's actually a fun game. Uh, Lagoon. Don't know anything about this game. Never played it before. So. And next up, 1080. Building up that Japanese 64 library. And next up, I might have to contact them or see if I marked it off, but I think I've already received this a couple weeks ago. So, I'd see if I marked it off or not. That might be my fault. That might be theirs. I'll check that out. All right. Um, oh, I don't know what this is. How to pronounce it? I look it up. Look it up and tell you later in the thing. But it's a new Japan Pro Wrestling '64 game. It says that down in the bottom, but that's all I can tell. Next one. Again, I know I've marked this off. I think I had, but we'll check this. Um, Global Gladiators. I don't know. Things have been hectic since around for the last couple months, so I don't know if I have or not. Earthworm Jim for the Sega Genesis. And the last one. Ooh, something I've never heard of before. Zoo Cube. Put your puzzle solving skills to work. Simply learn trickery to master Zoo Cube's offers addictive and engaging heart racing 3D puzzle action. Don't know. No manual, but hey, it still, do, still has a case. Alright, well. I'm going to cut, um, like always, um, I go and I price these games, see how much they're actually worth. Um, disc-based games are a little harder to price because you got to figure in case, CD, manual. Neither one of these had manuals, so we'll average the two between what they are. And we'll see. And I'll also look to see, I know I have these two games, I might have forgot to check them all or... I don't know. I've heard of people having sent duplicates, but I've never been sent anything that I had checked off, so I'll look and see. But hey, the joke box was really cool. I'm really enjoying that. Um, it's fun to get that. And hey, my 10 game pack is already cool. More 64 Japanese games. Frogger, Earthworm Jim, awesome games. Um, any GameCube game to me is awesome because I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot for a GameCube collection. So, hey, I'm already excited about this box. Hope you guys are too. I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, done some research, done some looking up. I know what the one Japan game is that I didn't know what it, it was. Um, looked up to see about the games that I thought I had duplicates of, and I do. Um, I'll explain that real quick. Uh. Once I figure out where they went. Okay. This one, Pokemon Stadium 2, 
is our fault. Um, I looked online. I had um, Pokemon Stadium 1 marked, so scratch that one to me. Um, the next one was Mick and Mac as Global Gladiators. Um, this was marked off. I looked back, looked it up. I got this back during the Horror Me box that I got back in October. Um, I'm contacting VGM. I'm going to try to get a replacement for my duplicate game. Um, I know people say the customer service is really great about that, so I'll probably just tell them to add it to next month's box, which that doesn't upset me at all. Um, and I did something because I always go through and price all my games. I'm even going to price the joke box, folks. I want to see how much the joke box really is. So, we'll do that. Uh, let's do the joke box first. Alright. They gave us two, two copies of Connect Adventures. Both of them complete. And surprisingly, the price charting still has these. I don't know why, because I see them at yard sales. I buy them for a quarter all the time. Just to get the the cases or get the disc for other for stupid reasons but anyways two dollars and ninety seven cents I still think that's overpriced next up Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen Sweet 16 if this would have had a box I'd probably keep it for myself because I actually don't have it in my GameCube collection that would have been neat but I um, will probably take this and sell it off for the GameCube or something next summer. Oh, I forgot to say. That one's worth $3.85. Now, we'll do these two Barneys first. They One's got writing on them. They're both messed up. So, But price charting has Barney at $3.58. Um, it's Barney, folks. I know I ain't never going to play it. I hate the stupid purple dinosaur. So. Then we have two copies of Shaq Fit. Um, got Renault labels all over them. Got a Blockbuster label in the back here. A stripe here. So, you know, they're not in the pristine condition. I could clean them up if I really wanted to. But surprisingly, these games are still profitable. They... They want $6 for this on price charting, and then they say that this here sells for $6.51. And if you look it up, people are still buying these on eBay. So, I might offload them, because I know I've already got copies of them. I don't need them. Altogether, the, the joke box comes up to $25.88. I mean, that ain't bad for a joke box. I, mean, I, I was happy about that. You know, Free game, terrible free games that I get to keep. The joke's on me. I thought it was hilarious. But I also thought it was cool just to price it. You know, they spend 25 a little over $25 in terrible games that they've got to give us games. All right. Now on to the heart and muscle of this. Um, I went ahead and added the Mac, the Mick and Mac because that's what they do is they, you know, they price it on what all this is. So, Zoo Cube had no manual. Completes three dollars and eighty one cents. Loose three dollars thirty seven cents. I always do the average at three dollars and fifty nine cents. So Zoo Cube, I'm really interested to try that game. I've never heard of it. I really want to see it. I like puzzle games. So Grand Theft Auto three, um, two dollars and fifty nine cents for loose. $3.62 complete. I've got Grand Theft Auto 3 on so many different systems. I could care less. I'm surprised I didn't have the Xbox. So that, that really did surprise me. So in a condition without the manual, $3.10. Eh, it is what it is. All right. The Micamac Global Gladiators. Comes in at seven dollars and forty-seven cents. Next, Earthworm Jim. This one surprises me. I mean, even though mine's faded, got some sticker residue. <coughs> Five dollars and 
1472. I, I was not expecting that on Earthworm Jim. If you could get one with a box and manual, it says complete, it's worth 30 bucks. So that, that, that right there is a wow. Next up was Frogger. I love playing Frogger, different versions of it. Frogger is always fun to me. Um, Frogger came in at $5.89. And like I said, anytime you can play a Frogger game is, is fun to play. Um, Lagoon. Don't know much about it. I think it's some type of RPG for the Super Nintendo since the Super Nintendo had so many RPGs, so. Um, but anyways, that one came in at 11 11 all right, next up, I'm going to turn these to me so I can see it better. Next up are the 64 games, the Japanese imports. We'll go through um, Pokemon Stadium 2, $9. Like I said, I messed up on that one, so I'll eat this. I, ain't gonna, I won't say anything in the message because I marked the wrong thing. That's my bad, as always. Um, we'll do this one. Star Wars Episode One Racer. I looked at uh, oh, got to say, <laughs> got to tell you, I don't. There's no price charting for these games. So what I do is I get on eBay, look at the sold auctions, look at the buy it now is going on, see what I can find. I try to average what the prices are. So that's what these prices are. They're all average eBay prices. Star Wars 1 Episode Racer is $12. 1080 I think it's actually worth more in Japan. The Japan one's worth more than the U.S. one, I think. 1080 is um, 750 And the wrestling game, because I know it's wrestling, because it says New Japan Pro Wrestling on it for 1980, or 1998. Now, Bear with me because I don't know Japanese. It's Pro Wrestling Token Road Brave Spirits. So basically, I looked it up. There's a few of these New Japan, New Japan Pro Wrestling games over there. Which makes sense because the American wrestling games were so popular on the 64. They were a blast. Some of my favorite games. But... Yeah, this one here is um, twelve bucks. Is what it, is what the average of it is. And I'm interested to pull this up and see what um, New Japan Pro Wrestlers are on here. I know this is back kind of before the Americans started going over there, but I still want to see which ones are on here. But hey, you've all added it up. The, the grand total of this box, I'm happy. I'm really excited. It was $82.38. And like I said, I pay $74.99 plus shipping. I never include the shipping on what I what I um compare it to because shipping, hey, they had to ship it to me. I got a choke box with $25 worth of games. They had to ship that to me. I mean, this month is a static. I got $82.38 for a grand total of this. Hey, it's over the mark. You guys did a great job. These are great games this month. I know I've contacted you. And I know I'm going to get a replacement game. I'll try to get that next month for the Global Gladiators. Um, the jump box was hilarious. I really appreciated it. Kind of cheered me up. And hey. This right here was my 12th box of the year. I've now been doing this for a year because I started on January 1st with VGM. That was my first box last year. So I know I've done more than more than that because I bought the Horror Me, the Thanksgiving box. I bought the 4th of July box. But still, like I said, this is my 12th month of doing it. So this is, you know, next month will be my... Um, one year anniversary of doing VGM, and so far, I really appreciate these. I look forward to this every month. I hope you guys do too. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and please share it, because you guys are helping the channel grow.
Thank you. And I'll be back again soon.